what up, what up, what up? It's your boy Bass. Y'all tuned in to another episode of Ends Podcast. We up early in the morning with it, and it's only for one reason, y'all. I'm trying to get an understanding of what is your morning routine like? You feel me? I know everybody, when they up and on the grind, they got a different morning routine. Some people don't even get up during the morning just because they've been up all night. And technically, they've been up all morning. So I'm really just trying to get an understanding of how you get your day started. I know it's a few people, you know, they might start it off with exercise shit. Sometimes getting your day started might just be realizing that you up or just waking yourself up. It might take you about 30, 40 minutes to get your day started in the morning time. You know, everybody got their routine. They sit on the edge of the bed for a minute. They got to kind of gather their thoughts. They kind of lay in the bed or for a second, gather their thoughts or something. You got those individuals, you know, they get up. Man, they go to the bathroom, go sit in the bathroom, take a shit. You know, early in the morning, get that early morning shit out the way. You got some, they might even, you know, roll a little spliffy or a blunt and have a cigarette and coffee, you know, early in the morning. You know, everybody got their own routine, so I'm just trying to get an understanding. Because uh, I feel like your, your, your early morning routine is pretty much can help strategize and predict how much the rest of the day going to go. You feel me? Just let that just sit back like your morning routine can really help you strategize and focus on how the day may go so like for me I had to take a little step back and grab this bag but like for me it's like my daily routine consists of a lot of things I ain't gonna say a lot of things but it's pretty much the same I wake up feel me drink me some water you know, get the day rolling, uh, check my phone, check my emails, see what's going on. But at the same time, I try to get into like a a, a turn up relaxation mode at the same time. Kind of depend on what the vibe is. A lot of times, I don't like to wake up and be rushed. So I like to be up before I got to be up and, you know, up and moving. So I like to get that part going. You know, but what about y'all? I've been wondering. Like, for real, for real. Like, what about y'all, man? Like, I want to be get y'all a couple seconds to really, like, think about that. Like, what you be doing, like, when you first get up there? Like, you consistently do. Not like one morning, you might get up and do this. Like, on a consistent basis, I get up. Like I was saying, like, some people get up, man, they got to go take a shit. That's their thing. They sit on the toilet, they check their Instagrams. They check their they Facebook messages. But that's one of the things that they do, man. They get up, go take that morning shit. Some people, you feel me, it's, it's that wake and bake. It's that wake and bake that really get them going. And they, they ain't really get started until they wake and bake. I know my mom, she was one of the ones, for example, when she get up, she need that morning coffee. She wasn't talking to you. She would tell me straight up, Joe, don't talk to me right now. I ain't had that coffee yet. But then it's just like going into that. And another reason why I'm asking that is because your daily routine, you feel me? It's like, what are you doing to kind of help help maximize that, you feel me? And are you finding strengths in what your daily routine is? So it's like, say like if you're waking up every morning, you go into the bathroom, right? And you check, you know, you go see what's the latest thing that's popping on Facebook, or you go check your your your, your timeline or YouTube or something. But it's like, in that mist, you kind of like if you start tracking, be like, damn, I spend about 15 minutes in the bathroom every morning. That 15 minutes, I could be reading up on this. I could be learning that, you know, that 15 minutes. So you can start strategizing. Like this 15 minutes, I could just I could just dedicate to like early in the morning, put 15 minutes to learning something. Or just applying 15 minutes towards, like, you know, an idea that I'm trying to grow. For example, you're trying to start a business. Shoot, you be like, man, after work, I be tired. I ain't thinking about researching, doing no business moves. Shoot, do it early in the morning. Around that, around that 6, 7 o'clock is when your, when your brain is freshly up. And you just sitting there, you looking back, you reading, researching, like, damn, what's a cool way I could do this or do that? So then throughout the day... It could be on the back of your mind, and you feel me? Because you planted that seed earlier in the day as you start to flow throughout the day, and you start to see these different movements, like, oh, shit, this is a more efficient way to do it. Damn, I remember I was just talking about doing this, that, and the third. 
you know, and like, you know, it's, it's like contextual, like you could be in the midst of a conversation, I could be thinking about it in the morning time, but like, damn, I want to find a way to, how, to hop, how do I send out mass emails to like, like a group of DJ artists or, you know, different business owners I may know, that might be going throughout the day, I might bump into somebody <clears throat> At, uh, you know, like a chip, uh, Chipotle or something, we might be talking, they might be like, yeah, man, I gotta get back to work, man, I gotta send out all these emails, I'm like, dang, you feel me, so what you doing to, you know, send out all them emails, woo, woo, oh, uh, yeah, our company used this, that, and the third, we use MailChimp, or we use, uh, Constant Contact or something like that, and like, damn, I was just thinking about that earlier, I was just talking about that earlier, like, you know, like, which, uh, email, you know, outreach or email campaign should I use? And, you know, like, it, them type of conversations get started, you feel me? But it's like plant that seed early in the morning. You know, just basically just focusing on that energy and channeling it. Like what we say, planting that seed so throughout the day, you know, it can it, it, it start to become like a second nature. When you start to hear about it or something get referenced, it kind of like trigger that mindset of what you had in the morning time. That's what I was just saying, just for one example, just really just start paying attention on, like, what is your daily habits like, you know? We all got our own, and say, like, say, even if it's smoking, it's like, shoot, you start looking at how much time do you spend to go outside and go smoke? Or just smoking in general, like, if I'm smoking early in the morning time, boom, I'm getting up to go smoke, so I know I, I, know I can get up. But it's like... Start focusing on like them. All right, so that, that's my daily routine. Is it good? Is it good routine? Is it bad routine? Is it health routine? How can I better that routine? How can I grow that routine? You know, smoking for some people is relaxing. They like to start off that day relaxed, so that, that lets you know something about yourself. Like damn, so I like to smoke early in the morning because it's relaxing. I like to think, process, think about what I'm gonna do throughout the day before I actually start moving. By smoking or having that cup of coffee, I'm able to just, you know, calmly relax, think about the flow of my day, and then once I got it, then once I get done, it's like I'm, I'm straight to it. I know exactly what I'm going to do, and then it's just like, you know, man on a mission. You know, for some people like that, it's like that's part of their morning routine, but it's just really understanding that part of your morning, morning routine is processing and getting your day started. Like, you got to process your day. You don't like to start your day and just start moving. You have to give yourself time to actually like sit back and see what you all got in front of you and see how you're going to tackle it. And even if you don't got an exact way, but you just see what you need to tackle. So you just know throughout the day, hey, I got to get this done. I got to get that done. You know, so I can see the benefits, you know, going outside. You feel me? Having that wake and bake or just having that morning cup of coffee. You should. Coffee is a stimulant. People don't realize that. Like, it may also give you energy, but it also help you focus. So a lot of times when people be having that morning cup of coffee, you feel me, get them time to slow up. That whole process of even making the coffee, like, everything's a process. You, you feel me, y'all be watching the anime, them, them senseis, they got you going, uh, what's that, Karate Kid? When he was waxing the car, he said, wax on, wax off. Even though it was a process of washing the car, it was still a process of fighting. Like, you just, like, you just showing them, like, just the little things that you do in life carry over to the big things so it's like just those little practices you going throughout the whole practice you know the whole process of filling and you know doing a coffee to it's like a second nature you feel me you know the exact ingredients that you need to start that morning off you can do it while you half awake you you feel me you'll be half asleep making you a good old cup of, a cup of coffee and once you make that cup of coffee you sit back and you feel me you process things and you be like damn I, I realized this while I was drinking my coffee this morning I read this while I was drinking my coffee but it was like you were processing you slowed the day down so it's like just realizing that they're like hey I'm the type of person I, I gotta process my day before I do it you probably an organizer you probably a planner so it's just like really just sitting back really I'm just be, be trying to sit back and just understand like what my daily routines is and why and how they beneficial and if it ain't no benefits in it, then let me figure out once I can find a benefit to, you know, like, basically, like, work it out in the morning time. You know, I get up every morning, I might not go run or go to the gym every morning, but I get up every morning, I do them push-ups. You know, I do a couple burpees. I, I, I got I to gotta keep that blood flowing, but one of the reasons why I like to get up and do those push-ups is just, in my mind, it's like, if even if I don't wake up or, or work out today, 
You feel me? I got me a quick little workout in. I got the blood flowing. And it's really just getting that blood flowing. I hate being sluggish. Like, that's one of my biggest things. I hate being sluggish. Um, I just like to just get up, go. And I like to have high, high energy because I always got high energy. So it's like when I get up, you know, I do them push-ups, get that blood flowing, get, you know, and just get to going. You feel me? Peace of my mind is like, shit, I got a quick little workout in the day. And another part is like, I got that blood flowing, so now I want to, you know, continue doing something. But once I start doing push-ups or something, you feel me? You start to feel your muscles a little swell up a little bit. You like, hey, I want to keep moving. I want to keep doing something. You feel me? So that's what it is for me. Um, so a couple of my morning routines are just getting up, drinking water. You feel me? I might throw on like some, some like to stimulate me, like audio-wise. I might listen to some music or listen to an interview or something, like a podcast interview. Um, and that's really, to, you know, to stimulate the brain. Um, I might go outside and smoke or something like that. Um, and that's because I like the process. So I like to get up, get to going. I like to get the energy, just get in motion, just get my body in motion. And I also like to process my day. Because I can easily, like me, I'm the type of person, I can easily just get up and go. And I understand that that ain't as easy for everybody else. But what also make it easy for me is if I get up and go and know where I'm going. So then that's why I always need that that processing moment too. Because sometimes I might get up and go and I don't want to move too fast. Rush outside the house. Did that before. When you rush outside the house, forgot this, forgot that. Like, damn, I should have brought my laptop with me. Damn, I should have brought my camera out with me. I, I forgot I was going to have to do this later on. But I started moving around. It was like, you know. So it's like having that little, I get up and go, but having that moment to kind of stop, process, get that moment of clarity, you feel me, to hit the ground running. But you know, I've been talking too much, man. I want to hear back from y'all. You know, comment, leave your boy, one of them uh, them voice messages. I want to hear from y'all, man. We want to feature y'all in this episode. Let me hear from y'all, man. How you get your day started? Do you wake and bake? Is you, uh, you know, is you at the gym early morning grinding it? Man, is you reading a book? Is you that... Is you making that good morning cup of coffee? Is you making that tea? How you getting to it, man? Is you getting them kids ready for school? Because that's even another thing, you feel me? Like, just beating your kids, you feel me? Like, getting your kids ready for school. It's like that mindset, you know, being the first one up, being the last one to go to sleep, you know? So I just want to know, how do you get to your hustle every morning? It's your boy Bass, and y'all tuning in the ENDS Podcast. We out of here.